Hello students, welcome to the fifth lesson of Unit 9 Holiday Plans. And by far, I believe this is the most exciting lesson because in this one, we are going to read and listen to a story. That sounds exciting, right? So let's begin straight away. Alright, so the title of the story is Homework Yuck. And as you can see, there is a child in the picture and then there is an older lady and another lady who is sitting in a chair. So who do you think the story is about? Is it about a student? Is it about a cricketer or what? So let's begin. When Jamal opened the door, his mother could tell something was wrong. He looked like he was going to cry. Jamal, what is the matter? His mother asked. Homework, he shouted. Homework, yuck! I will not do any more homework. Now Jamal's mother was quite concerned. She had never heard Jamal talk like that. And she had no idea that he didn't like doing his homework. In fact, each time she asked Jamal if he had done his homework, he would always answer yes. My teacher wants to meet with you, Jamal said. That's fine. His mother said, but I would like to talk to you before we meet with your teacher. I think now is the perfect time. Jamal and his mother talked for a long time and all the while his mother was writing things down. Jamal chuckled to himself as she wrote. It was as if she was doing homework and do you know what she was? Then his mother said, Jamal, now that we are done, I want you to do the best you can on your homework tonight. Tomorrow morning, we will go to school together. Jamal agreed and his mother continued with her homework. The next day, Jamal, his mother and his teacher met before school started. Jamal was frightened. He didn't know what to expect and it was all his fault for not doing his homework. Homework? Shuck! He mumbled to himself. I heard that, his teacher said. Then his mother spoke. Jamal and I discussed the situation last night and I assure you he will be doing his homework in the future. I also think you need to listen to his reasons. They are reasons and not excuses. Please let Jamal explain to you as he did to me. Well, Jamal was really frightened now. He had to talk to the teacher and tell her why he didn't do his homework. Jamal thought for a moment, took a deep breath and began talking. I need to have some fun. I spent all day in school and then my teachers want me to spend the rest of the day doing homework. I like to spend time with my mother, brother and sister. I also have to do my chores and help my mom since my dad doesn't live with us. When I really try to do my homework, it takes too long and I can't help my mom. I know this makes her sad. And sometimes angry. Sometimes I get so much homework I have to copy some of it from my friends. I know that's cheating but I want to turn something in. When I have done my homework it takes so long to get it back that I can't learn from it. Meanwhile you're teaching something else. I just get lost. Jamal's teacher thought for a moment and then said, I never realized you were so smart. You have made some very good points and I need to consider them. In fact, all the teachers need to hear them. 
I will consider your comments before I assign homework in the future. I would like you to talk to all the teachers. Will you do that? Jamal agreed and he spoke to all the teachers, parents and students at the school's next open house. He was frightened but he made excellent points. In fact, the school changed the way they assigned homework. It was easier on the students and they were able to complete it and learn. They also had some time to play and spend time with their families. Now Jamal does his homework and actually looks forward to doing it. Now his mother doesn't have to ask if it is done. The End So students, did you enjoy the story? What do you think about Jamal? Do you think he was right? Do you think his way of solving the problem is right? I would love to hear your feedback that you will give to your teachers in your classes. Do read the story again and discuss it with your friends. Good luck and goodbye.